Harihar Mandir. The chariot kind of temple right opposite to the entrance integrated me from the time I entered the Manipal Heritage Village. I was hoping that our trusty camp guide would first showcase that but well, he had another route, route planned. So it was left to me to probe and question and understand this particular structure. 1216 that is the year that this gorgeous wooden temple is dated to and it was built for Shiva, Parvati and Vishnu. Apparently it was left rooting in the rain before the Hasta Shilpa team rescued it and brought it to, to its new home. The door were closed and hence I could not get a closer look but I am told that the ancient woodwork is gorgeous within and that includes the idols and the main door. Bindur Nelliadi House. It was built in 19th century. Nelliadi, a small village in Bindur region of Kundapura Taluk, Kuruki district of Karnataka state. Bindur Nelliadi House is a combination of a the Hebbagili Chavadi and a series of functional areas positioned around a compact open to sky code. These kind of structures came up during the middle of the 19th century and have most of the features of the manor house built in smaller scale and in this place do not miss the intricate carving of main doors and pillars. Arkur Valaginamani, it was built in 1605. Arkur Valaginamani, which was originally situated on the periphery of the agriculture land in Harkur village of Kundapura Taluk. Valaginamani literally means interior house. So, this was the original house of Arkur Bunt family. Built about 415 years ago. And in this place, do not miss the various agricultural equipment and tools such as wooden bluff. Paddy Mancha, a grilled cord to separate paddy from the grass. Accessories which were used in Kambala, a buffalo race of South Kerala. Pattas, a large wooden storage box. Bronze pot and wooden buttermilk churner. Areka leaf headgear. Mysore paintings of Dashavatara. Calicut paintings. Glass paintings. Nichrome paintings. Madhubani art paintings. Mari Durkishtin, a 4th century old wooden idol of Goddess Durga. Erukone House in middle of 19th century. Erukone is a tiny village in Kundapura Taluk dotted with a numerous small and medium sized agricultural farms and vegetable gardens. The Erukone House is an example of the shift in building smaller prototype of Manoro House due to the fragmentations of joint families and migrations or family members to cities in search of employment, thereby forcing remaining heirs to 
build a new house to all together without losing their family prestige hence this house essentially has all the features of the hebbagiru chawadi with the small extensions at the rear of to the house functional areas the front chawadi with all its function is retained whereas the inner space are simple and in this place do not miss intricate carving of main doors and pillars Please do not miss the traditional carving of Kajalakshmi on the main door frame well being at the entrance depicting prosperity. The identical jugglies or a stepped verandas both in the outer and inner portion of house. Typical traditional South Kendra balcony on the front facade. Balcony with the floated columns and handmade wrought iron grills at the rear. house it built in 1856 the structure is the principal entrance block of a typical agrarian brahmin house of first well south kenna district although started with all the traditional element of this region the influence of the british colonial era is a very clearly seen in the character of rear balcony this stands as an example for an adaptive reuse as its house has the administrative functions like an office ticketing room surveillance monitors panel room and most importantly an elegant gateway to the heritage village